Some of the wage gap is definitely due to discrimination. So the standard number given for the wage gap is that women make 77 cents for every dollar that men make. Um, so if you take a woman at an exactly equivalent job in an exactly equivalent city with exactly equivalent education, the wage gap between her and the man is much, much smaller than 70 cents to the dollar. It's more like 92 cents to the dollar. And uh, that's still not great. And obviously, that gap is due to some kind of discrimination. It might be the discrimination of men being much more confident and comfortable asking for raises in their first jobs. That's also extremely well documented how women tend not to ask for raises, especially in their first jobs and how that trails them throughout their career, right? So again, we could call that a kind of umbrella discrimination where women don't feel entitled to ask for the raises, you know, uh, men in charge are likely to pay men more. So it's a complicated kind of discrimination. It's not like the old, very easy discrimination, you know, hey lady, you just got married, you're out of a job. It's like, a, it's, we're already at a stage that's a little more fuzzy. And then as you, as, you, as you look at the bigger picture, it gets even more fuzzy because a lot of the wage discrimination is due to amorphous factors like the jobs that women choose to do. So often coming out of law school, you know, women may have better grades than men, but they might choose jobs in nonprofits or they might choose jobs in, fir in, in not in firms, but sort of in-house, say, lawyers, rather than working at firms where they have to climb their way up because they're not interested in climbing their way up. So, so if you take you know, the standard wages of a woman and the standard wages of a man from the same graduating law school class, women may end up making less money because they choose to. Um, and then come the even more amorphous life factors which is what happens when you start having children. It's pretty clear that there isn't, you know, people have mapped what happens to women and men when they graduate from law and business school very precisely. And what they find is there's a teen, there's like a little wage gap, a little wage gap, and then as soon as, not the first child, but usually four or five years after the first child, whether or not they have a second child, that's when they start to see the divergence between men and women. So again, now we're back to the idea that women take on more domestic tasks. Men don't still take on as many domestic tasks. So do we? that might be discrimination. That might be society's discomfort with men doing things that are very domestic. So we're not quite at the phase where men and women trade off and like, you do this and I do this because I'm doing better. Um, but where we naturally assume that the man is going to continue his career as, as he always has and the woman isn't. Um, so that's one factor. And then there's the final most amorphous factor, which is that women often say they don't want to climb the ladder the way men do. They're not that interested in it, especially women who reach their 40s uh, suddenly decide that it's tedious and they don't want to do it. And so, you know, in a country like Holland, for example, the government has been desperate to get women to work more and work in more ambitious jobs. They're very feminist. They want more women in power, and the women have no interest. They just want to stay home, not necessarily taking care of their kids. Like, they want to have coffee with their friends or whatever or take walks. And so, you know, so that's all questions that women have to ask themselves. Like, do I want to do this? Is this something I want to do either for myself or because I think for the good of society, it's good to have more women at the top so that we can create more humane workplace policies for everybody else? and then that will make it easier to climb the ladder and it won't be such a rat race. So um, rat race for men or women. Um, so, so that's, you know, so I think the wage gap is simpler than what one hears in a parade on wage gap day, but it still exists.